All right, guys. Well, welcome to the video today. We have a little bit of a situation today. And the lawnmower quit. So it broke down right out in the middle of the yard. And uh, I believe the hydrostatic belt broke. So uh, we're going to try to see if we can uh, fix that. We've got our belt here. So it um, doesn't look like it's going to be very easy to do. But we'll take a look at it and see if we can figure it out. So it, it looks to me like we've got to get the belt up on this pulley and to run between those two pulleys and hooked up over onto this pulley and then there's another pulley on the other side that is also for one of the hydrostatic belts or the fans that we got to get it hooked to so it looks like the only way to get it up onto this pulley is to take this pulley off this is the belt deck this is the deck, deck belt pulley. Um, if you remember, we made a video about um, how to change the deck belt last year. So we took the deck belt off. This is the part number for the belt. Links below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the belt around all the around the fan pulleys first, and then we'll figure out how we're going to get it hooked to the main drive pulley. And then you want to take off the idler pulley tension spring with a st spring puller or the equivalent you're going to want to remove the fan guard in, while you're in here you might as well clean out all the junk in the fan and then you can just feed the belt over top of the fan and get it stuck on the uh, onto the pulley then we got to do the same thing to this side then you want to feed the belt up underneath by putting your hand underneath and getting it to pull through so you can wrap it around the right pulley. So then you need to go back underneath the mower and pull it so it's tight. The only thing you got to do now is you got to remove this little clamp for the wire right here. This little clamp's got to come off where the wire is hooked to it. And then you got to remove this bracket right here. There's two nuts right here. You just got to unscrew those so you can slip this up onto the pulley. Okay, so now that we got the nut off, we can take the idle or pulley bracket. We can take this little clutch bracket thing off. And I found you had to take all the, the bolts all the way out to get it off. And now we should be able to take our belt and stretch it underneath this pulley and up onto the pulley it needs to go onto. Then you wrap it around the back main drive pulley. There we go. Same thing, you gotta pull it up over the top of the fan to get it around the pulley. And once you get it to sit on the pulley, you can then make sure you pull the slack back out, but then you gotta go back to the, and then you just gotta make sure you have it fed through all of the pulleys. Like we fell off a pulley right here. So this is a little tight. Get that cinched back up on there. There we go. There we go. And then this is the tensioner pulley, and then we'll go put the spring back on that, and we should be all set. And then once you verify you have all of the pulleys hooked together, you can re-put on the tensioner.
There we go. And then double check that all your belts are on the right pulleys. Reattach that wire harness. There we go. Reattach the idler pulley bracket. And you replace both your fan covers. Put your belt back, your deck belt back on. And all I used was a half inch wrench and a half inch socket. found this video helpful if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up also if you need the hydro belt there's a link in the description below where you can get it from Amazon I ended up paying like 30 some dollars for it at the tractor store but um it's a little bit cheaper on Amazon so if you got time to wait for Amazon to deliver remember there's a link below um, it is an affiliate link so if you do purchase something from there we do get compensated but it's at no extra cost to you thanks for watching